Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on an Asus Turf Gaming laptop. Let me show you the model number. Here it says Asus FA506. And let me show you the crack screen. So as you can see that the screen on the top right corner here starting to get shattered and then it sprayed the entire screen with all this pixelated and funny color. So in other words, we would have to replace the entire LCD screen. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So first thing I like to do is to press and hold the power button until the computer shuts off. All right, now the computer is off. Here, I'd like to show it to you that you see these two little black sticker. This sticker here is kind of uh, hiding the screw. So we need to remove that sticker to get into the screw. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure you save this plastic because later on you like to recover back that screw. Okay. Once you have removed the two plastic, go ahead and get your Phillips screwdriver. I'll be using an electronic screwdriver here. If you're interested to know where to buy them, I got it from eBay. I will have the link in the description below where you direct you to eBay or Amazon. Uh, you can buy the tools as well as the replacement screen. So the two screws are removed. Let's put that on the side. Now this bezel here is ready to be popped open. I like to use a metal prying tool tuck it underneath find that weak spot and start opening up the bezel all right so it seems to be this is the weak spot i was able to stick through my prying tool and let's work the way around it slowly the bezel is is uh kind of have a clip on so it's 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 clipped onto the base of the screen so you can just pop it open do not put a lot of pressure or yank it because you do not want to break the bezel. When it gets to the bottom part here, what you want to do is be gentle because they use double-sided tape to tape onto the bezel here. Since the screen is already cracked, it is okay if you scratch the screen because we'll be replacing with the new one. I'm using my metal pine tool to cut the double-sided tape. You can hear that I'm cutting through the tape. That noise, uh, that sound of it. All right, so I push the screen back a little forward, tilt it, so I have a good leverage to pry this bezel up. Okay, so once you remove the bezel, let's put it on the side. Now, I was referring to the tape here earlier. So make sure that you separate the tape and not, you know, I mean, if you break it, that's fine because we are replacing with the new screen. Uh, but this is what I was explaining about the double-sided tape here that was taped onto the screen. Now, the next step I would like to explain to you is that this LCD screen is not screw in. You can see that there's no screw holds onto the LCD. The entire LCD is actually glue on too. So there is a double-sided tape hidden underneath here. If you can see this little white tape, this is a double-sided tape. 
that it tapes onto the screen. So what you want to do is you want to pull it down. I'm pulling it towards my body. And it's like a cheese. The string is really long. So just keep pulling. And that is the double sided tape for the screen. So you want to do the same on the other side. And that is the tape right here. Keep pulling them. All right, so now you have both of them removed. In other words, the screen is free to come loose. Okay, so flip it towards your body. Be careful with the cable, it is still attached to it. And now what you want to do is try to separate this tape. This tape is important. It also does the grounding for it. So make sure you not cut it or break it because we're going to re-tape it again. Okay, once you have that thing open, what you can do is you can slide the cable away from your body to so slide it to that direction away from your body and that's how you disconnect the cable now now the lcd screen the lcd is free to go and you can replace with the new one let me show you a way to buy or find the model number here so if you look it up it says lp156 wfc spd1 so go ahead and look up for the uh, this model here or you can check out the description below. I have it linked to either Amazon or eBay uh, in the description below. Just check, click on the link and it will direct you to the website for the right screen uh, with the right tools for this replacement here. Now the next thing you need to have is to buy this double sided tape. This red adhesive double-sided tape allows you to re-tape the screen back onto the, the laptop here, right? Because we remove it earlier. We don't have the tape anymore. We need to buy this tape to re-tape the LCD back in. Okay, now, assuming this is a new screen that comes in, I do not have the new screen with me at the moment. I just wanted to remove the original screen look at the model number here, find a replacement and and go from there for the repair. But assuming that you have the same model, you already check out my video, you're watching this, you know the model number here, you know where to buy your stuff. And let's assume that you bought the screen, the new screen arrived, this is your new screen here. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and get this double sided tape as well. I'll have uh, the link in the description below. I got it from Amazon. Uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, kind of align and give yourself a slightly one eighth of an inch of the tape sticking out at the bottom here. Right. So once you have that, go ahead and cut off the the tape. Uh, that's okay. I'm just going to waste this tape for now, just for this video purpose. Go ahead and cut the length of the tape, right? And tape it down. Tape it down properly. This is not properly taped down. Okay, so tape it down. You have the extra uh, length sticking out. What you want to do is remove this plastic. Do that on both sides. One on the left, one on the right and then reconnect the cable. So what, what you wanna do is you pull the cable down, have it aligned in the right position, is tuck it underneath, so back, tuck it underneath back to your body, right? To the connector, towards your body. And then what you wanna do is you wanna pull a little bit for the tape to re-tape back onto the new screen so that the tape is holding onto the connector tight and firm 
now you assuming you have both sides of the tape installed now what you want to do is you want to reflip it back and then the screen will realign it okay and that's how you retape the screen back on now you can see that this little um, tape that we just did will be for your future reference just in case if you crack it again this tape right here you can put it down or guide you on how to remove or replace uh, the screen i hope that you don't have to repeat the same process twice uh, you shouldn't be breaking the screen all the time if you break the original screen the first time that is understandable but once you replace the screen and you break it for the second time i'm not sure what to tell you <laughs> but try not to break it again all right so uh, this is step by step and i hope that you learned something from this video here uh, if you have any question, just comment below. And also, if you can do me a favor, go ahead and click the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate you for doing that. And also, if you would like to share your experience with me, tell me whether this video helps you to replace the screen. Were you able to follow along the video and change the screen, uh, change your laptop screen by watching this video? Just comment below and let me know. I'd like to know your experience. I'd like to know how you, how you, how you do it and uh, share the experience with other people. All right. Thanks for watching. Until next time, please take care. Bye-bye now.